Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for designers, artists and creators. My name is Laszlo and what we're gonna do today is redesign an album cover. This album cover, Lady Gaga's new Chromatica album. We are going to create a whole new image, but something that's sort of similar to this concept, something that is similar in terms of look and feel. Now Adobe has teamed up with Lady Gaga to create this design competition to celebrate her new album called Chromatica. So I thought I would put some time aside for this and try to come up with something cool for it. Now I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this, so what I was gonna do is turn this into a bit of a challenge and come up with something today in a matter of a couple hours or so. We got no time to waste, so actually let's go and jump in. Now first things first, we need to do our research. Research in terms of the subject, for me, basically means that you have to listen to the whole album watch all the videos that has been made for some of the songs and and try to find out who were the designers who came up with this whole look and the original album cover. I think if we read up a little bit about who were the designers behind this whole aesthetic that Lady Gaga is going for this album, that's gonna give us some really valuable insights to create something that is very much on brand. I know some of you would skip this step altogether, but I promise you it's gonna make such a difference if you know what the original concept was behind this whole artistic direction. So in this part I have read a great deal about what Chromatica is, what it actually means to her, and it's basically, if I understand it right, it's a mixture of a couple of different things. Chromatica, the actual word, implies the chromatic scale that music and melody is composed in, as well as the chromatic color scheme, which is basically Chromatic colors are the fully saturated, powerful colors. It's basically a mixture of a lot of different things and concepts. And that's kind of the whole idea, if I understand it correctly. It's all about inclusivity and diversity. That's what Lady Gaga stands for, isn't she? Now, in terms of visual research, I put a mood board together using my Pinterest. Just a bunch of sort of neon -y 80s, 90s inspired color schemes a bunch of pictures that actually came from this Comromatica concept as well as some art for movies like this John Wick poster into the Spider-Verse stuff which is sort of you know glitchy and over the top with the saturation which is something that a lot of artists are doing these days so it's becoming a bit of a cliche but I think for this it's gonna be almost unavoidable to do something similar to that okay now these are the images that are provided by Adobe to make your composition there are basically two photos and a bunch of other graphics, logos and type-based stuff. It's not much, but it's a good starting point. Okay, so first things first, I created my square in Photoshop. It's a 2000 by 2000 pixel canvas. I wanted to bring in the original album cover, so we always can look back into it and reference it in order to make sure that we stay on brand with this thing. My idea comes from one of the songs from the album called Alice, which is a reference to Alice in Wonderland. So I wanted to create this through the looking glass kind of effect. So essentially have the image that they provided and have like a reflection on the bottom part of the image for it as well, which is in a way, I guess, cheating. The real reason that I wanted to do something like this is they didn't give us much to work with. So I wanted to duplicate this great image somehow to make, you know, as much use of it as I possibly can. Now I wanted to slightly alter the two different sides just so it has this sort of almost like a playing card effect where you have like one figure on top and the bottom figure is almost the same but it's in a way dissimilar to the original one. So they are not exact copies. So I brought in the original album covers face part from the photo that put that in place. I also played around with gradient maps a little. Basically I wanted to reference the stupid love video because the image that we got to work with is quite dark and gloomy and very sort of post-apocalyptic. And that video is a bit is much more cheerful, it's much more brighter, it's sort of, you know, that Power Rangers 80s, 90s retro futurism. Is that retro futurism? I'm gonna call it retro futurism that they went for. Anyway, I wanted to reference that. I also copied Lady Gaga and wanted to have a cutout of her in order to in order to overlay her a couple of times, you know, to create this sort of glitchy effects. I played with the layer modes as well quite a lot. I also added these line on top lines on top, which are basically just rectangles in order to create that sort of TV 80s look, like you're looking at a screen. And also I wanted to cut some of these parts out 
modify them a little bit. At this point I wasn't really sure if it's supposed to be water or some sort of crystal thing, this bottom part here. Originally I wanted to bring that symbol from the actual album cover and reuse it, but then I thought it actually doesn't work for me that well. But they provided this symbol as a PNG, so I thought I'm just gonna, you know, build it from scratch from using that piece. So I brought that in, I changed the color, I started playing with embossing effects until I got something that looks sort of human-made, like a metallic piece of architectural part. Obviously here I'm just polishing all these elements in order to make sure everything works together, you know, just to match everything. It, it's, it's quite an art when you put in a lot of different pictures together. You have to make sure that all the levels look the same so I play around quite a lot with all these layer settings as well as doing like FX layers on top. I really wanted to distort this bottom part a little so you at first I wanted to create this effect that when you first see this piece of work you don't actually see the reflection and then on a second look you're like oh okay okay I get it. Oh yeah by the way did you like this album? I can't say that I'm her number one fan but I think it was all right. I think the previous one was better though you know this one Joanne. Nevertheless, love her or hate her, the thing is, Lady Hagaga has undeniably an actual theatrical aesthetic, carrying on, you know, the great performance artists like Freddie Mercury or Michael Jackson, where the idea is to make music something larger than life. It's, it's not just music, it's a whole, you know, experience. Every album is... even every, not just every album, every song is like sort of different and they all have different costumes, different storytelling, different dance routines, the whole thing is just so well orchestrated. It becomes this almost like a movie basically, you know, like actual world building that you would only see in like movies otherwise. Oh, also an important thing, since it's an album cover that's gonna have like other stuff, like the actual title and all that stuff put on top of the photo manipulation that we're working on, leave some space out when you're doing stuff like this. Eventually I felt like I need to bring some other pictures in, so I stopped for a second. Okay, maybe we should bring in some other photos. Please stop right there. I meant bring in some actual photos that we're gonna take, come on. I know, I know, Unsplash, Adobe Stock, Pixabay, these are all great resources. I use them all the time as well, don't get me wrong, of course I do. But please, for the love of good design, don't just rely on all these images created by someone else. Every now and then, please take the initiative, get off of your chair and go and take some actual reference photos. Just random stuff like textures or whatnot. You know that Google analogy that if you Google your problems, you're gonna find a solution that everybody else have found? I think for design work, that's just so real. If you keep using the same images, the same icons, the same stuff that everybody else is using out there, then don't be surprised if your work doesn't stand out from the crowd. Smartphones these days are taking good enough photos, and the thing is, even if you're working on something far-fetched like we are doing right now, with this sci-fi Power Rangers fantasy of Lady Gaga, you don't actually need to go very far in order to create some great reference photos with a little bit of creativity. Okay, so I started pulling in some of these photos I just took. I wanted to basically extend these cliffs on the bottom with this. And also I wanted to I wanted to have some sort of mechanical parts, like wires and chains hanging from this pink sign. Now I had to zoom in quite a lot and actually spend a lot of time using the paintbrush and the eraser to make sure that this element fits in perfectly, because it's always a tricky thing when you're using different photos that are coming from different places. Yeah, here I'm just playing a bit more with the bottom part. I'm running to make sure that it looks... I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to do here, but essentially I'm trying to mix abstract visualization with something real. But at the same time I want to keep the audience guessing, like is it water, is it, is it a mirror, is it glass, what is it? I don't know, I have no idea. Okay, I also painted a little white, some whites here to sort of separate the two sides of the image. Then I thought I would bring some more glitch into the actual bottom part as well. I started fixing this second head that we have here. Oh yeah, I had to fix all these three branches as well in order to make sure that they feel organic to the composition. Okay, let's... and then I started playing around with 
bringing in some of my photos as textures just put it on top of this of my little pink installation oh i also need to bring in the wires and the chains on the reflection part i'm just smoothing out the midline of the two parts okay you know what i'm not gonna lie to you guys i didn't do this whole project in one actual day but i was counting my hours so basically i did a bit of research and listened to the album which took about one and a half maybe two hours i did that on sunday and then i did the actual work the actual photo manipulation that took about two hours what else oh yeah and then we actually got up and did some reference photos ourselves that was about half an hour so all in all i think we have spent about four maybe five hours doing this whole thing so you can actually yeah you can put it in a day half a day's work happy with that I thought I would bring in this love symbol on Lady Gaga's forehead as well, just to reference the stupid love video once more. Actually, you know what, no, it doesn't really look good. I also put some other adjustment layers, mostly color adjustments on top of this whole thing, so just effectively to unify the whole composition. The chains look still a little bit fake, so I actually had to go back and do some what I call heavy designing. I went back and I started painting parts in. I was copying and pasting some of these chains in. I also used a very rough eraser instead of these smudgy ones to create like the actual edges of the of these cables here. I also had to fix this little branch. I thought if it goes under this archway, then it has to be a bit darker than the part that's sort of sticking out in the in the sun in the lens fly part okay that looks a bit more believable yeah that's all good all right i think i think we are done here let's call it a day i quickly mocked this up as well so this is how it would look on an actual album cover i put all the icons in as well that would come with it all right i would love to hear your thoughts on the music as well as on my design of course comments likes and subscribes are greatly appreciated as always join our little design tribe if you enjoy content of this nature we touch on 2d as well as 3d graphics interior design branding art and everything in between all right that's it for today if you enjoyed our video as i said please like it and i'll see you in the next one bye